Okay, so this video inevitably will be a bit off the rails, no pun intended. So the Mark Forster Thomas movie, which we've talked a little bit about in the past, has a slight update. That being that it was pushed back. Again. And with the very little information we have on the movie, I figured we'd do some speculation together. Like what I think the movie will be like or entail, what the tone of it will be, and if it'll even happen at this rate. Honestly, I'd probably not. But before anything, let's start with what we do know. Now, straight from IMDb, The Adventures of Thomas will have a pretty, honestly, unique plot, at least when compared to every other Thomas movie, should this still be followed. Quote, The Adventures of Thomas is an upcoming live-action hybrid theatrical movie. Jeez, that's a lot. Directed by Mark Forster, who directed Christopher Robin and World War Z. The movie is about a preteen boy who is drifted apart from his father and visits an island of talking trains and befriends them. The film is rewritten by Alyssa Hill and Jesse Wilguto? Wilguto? I don't know, probably. The film has an October 9th, 2025 release date. So what can we gather from this? Essentially, the main plot of a father and a son reconnecting on Sodor is still a thing, or at least maybe through Sodor? But you may notice they aren't making any reference to the time period, or anything like that, in which this happens in. Now, originally, it was said this would be a World War II movie, and that's where my first bit of speculation comes in. Would it still be that? I mean, save for fan work, no matter what, that's always been kind of niche in Thomas. Audrey himself often wrote to avoid such conflict being brought up, or even a thing. Now, let's think about Thomas in the modern era. Would you see Spitfires or Battlefields present with this little thing? I stand corrected. No, but especially if you think about All Engines Go and the overall tone Thomas has now? Probably not. That, that just doesn't seem like it lines up with the brand. Now, that's not me saying this is an All Engines Go movie either. It directly says it's not like that. But thinking about All Engines Go shows you where the brand is now, and what Mattel is sort of okay with. I just can't see something so serious being muddled in with such a safe brand. So this kind of ties into my next bit of speculation. Will this even happen? Well, as the IMDB page said, there are currently rewrites happening, or at least it was rewritten. So obviously, in that case, it's possible. And trust me, while a good portion of classic fans don't like the modern Thomas, that doesn't mean it doesn't still sell well. I definitely think the funding is there. It really comes down to the will from Mattel. And you know what, at this point, I'm just gonna ditch the script for the rest of the video. I'm kinda just gonna spitball here and uh, let out my opinions. Also, keep in mind, this video has literally been nothing but that and my own speculation, so we do not have to agree on everything here. If at any point you do disagree, be sure to comment down below, and maybe we can discuss it. But truth be told, I mean, at least with myself, I'm in a state where I don't even know if I want this movie. I mean, yeah, when I first heard about it, it was nothing but hype, and I'd be lying if I said there wasn't a little bit still there. But truth be told, I really have to question what I'm holding out for. What is this movie really gonna be? Now, technically, this isn't the second time Thomas has done something so theatrical. If you think about Thomas and the Magic Railroad, it's the same sort of premise, just with a different story to it. You know, this time there's no magic, or lady, or Mr. Conductor, which in my case stinks because I love Thomas and the Magic Railroad. It definitely has the potential to be something more realistic and maybe bring Thomas into a more real-life scenario, but what scenario would it even be? I mean, thinking about it a little bit more, it does make sense why the Second World War or any sort of conflict like that would have a large pedestal in such a movie. Though I really would be lying if I said that wasn't something I was excited about. Again, that's not really something Thomas has ever done. And thinking about that argument in specific, there's two sides to it. One, should it be done at all, because the original creator really wasn't fond of it. Two, I'd really just like to see it done in some sort of official way in general, and if it's done right, that could be cool, but how do you do something like this right? Well, one is being respectful to the history, and how respectful to World War II history can you be with a talking blue tank engine? So yeah, maybe that should be dropped, but hopefully you can see how that creates a bit of a divide for some fans, maybe just me in specific. Now, I touched on this a little bit in the last video, but there's also a lot of speculation that there would be a Diesel plotline. 
And you know what? Without the World War II aspect, that could totally happen and could be done very well. You see, my initial problem with that was if Dieselton or any Diesel made its way into a World War II Thomas movie, it wouldn't make sense. Diesels weren't a thing in that. What? No, 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 that no, please, please don't do that. So at that rate, if we're throwing the World War II timeline out of the window, this could take place maybe in the 50s, the 60s, some other time where, you know, that conflict wasn't present and you can bring Diesels into the storyline. Like, let's consider if there really was a Steamies versus Diesels plot going on here. You know, maybe the father works for British Railways, or some modern railway that doesn't care for steam engines, and the son still likes them. Maybe the son notices that steam power is becoming a thing of the past, and eventually makes it to Sodor, and that creates the conflict between the father and son. And also could already play into the Steamy vs. Diesel's conflict that once was a thing in Thomas. I say once was because... I don't know, I don't see all engines go Thomas and Diesel getting into a gang fight, that's, ju that's just me. I mean, even without the super serious aspects, totally this movie could still be pretty serious. I mean, think about Thomas in real life, if they actually rendered an E2 to look like Thomas. You don't have to, they did, it's right here. They could use this to do a lot of cool stuff. I don't think any fan would actually complain at seeing a realistic Sodor, that's just something we all wish we could have seen at some point. I mean, technically, we could still have that. Imagine the liveliness of Thomas and the Magic Railroad mixed with real-life trains. You can't tell me that would not be the coolest thing in the world. I'm sorry. But again, do I even think this movie will be a thing at this rate? I, no, no, I really have to say no, and that's just me. I really, really hope I'm wrong and Mark Forster makes the coolest Thomas movie we've all ever seen, but... I've waited for so long, I feel like we all have. This is just another Cool Props Thomas situation where it's been months and months and months and months, now years and years, and I'm just like, I just want the th I just want the product. Are we ever gonna get it? And think about what's filled that void since then. If you wanna see Thomas and Friends in a more serious subject matter, go watch The Blue Snowplow. Go watch Tobias and the Half Pariah. Go watch Sodor Dark Times if you're a real OG. What I'm trying to say is I really doubt it would be anything better than the fan base has either already done or could do with some time. That being said though, I'm the kind of person who just likes to see Thomas in whatever format I can see him in. It's the reason I love model series Thomas right beside CGI Thomas, and in some ways even the All Engines Go Thomas. At the end of the day, it's just another way to take in the same character. And could I really ever complain at seeing this E2 with a face on it in whatever movie? Uh, no, I just don't think I could. But I also feel like that same money could go into another All Engines Go movie, or even more merch. And if Mattel can do that and make more money, you better believe they're gonna do that. Truthfully, if it benefits the older fans, whatever. It all depends on what it does for that new generation and in terms of this new Thomas. But hey, that's just a theory. A train theory. And I'm gonna go drink some water. Thanks for watching. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out.